Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about random variables and probability distribution. Before understanding about random variables, let us see about random experiment and sample space. A random experiment is a type of experiment that has multiple possible outcomes. Such an experiment can be repeated many times. Any outcome of a random experiment cannot be predicted until the experiment has been performed. Example for random experiment is tossing a coin and throwing a dice. In this two experiments, we will not be knowing the outcome until it is being performed. And if we repeat this many times, it will yield different possible outcomes each time. Sample space is the set of all possible outcomes for a random experiment. For example, in tossing a coin, the possible outcomes will be head and tail. If we are tossing the coin twice, the possible outcomes will be head, 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 tail, tail, head and tail, tail. Now let us see about random variables. It is a function which performs the mapping of the outcomes of a random experiment to a numerical value. The random variable is denoted by capital letter X and its value is denoted by a small letter X. For example, if we flip 5 coins and want to answer the question like what is the probability of getting exactly 3 heads, then we can express it as P of X equal to 3. Here x is the random variable and 3 is the numerical value assigned to this random variable x. Types of random variables. Random variables can be either discrete or continuous. If a variable can take countable number of distinct values, then it is called as discrete random variable. For example, in an experiment of tossing two coins, the possible number of outcomes will be head, 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 tail, tail, head and tail, tail. So, if you want to find out the possible number of heads in this coin toss, then it can take any of these three values that is 0 in case of tail tail, 1 in case of head tail and tail tail, 2 in case of head head. So, thus the random variable x can take 0, 1 or 2 which is discrete. A random variable is said to be continuous if it takes infinite number of values in an interval. For example, suppose the temperature in a city lies between 30 degree and 45 degree centigrade. The temperature can take any value in the interval between 30 degree and 45 degree. So, the temperature can be either 30.13 or 40.15 etc. So, there is nothing exact or discrete observation in continuous random variable. Now, let us see about probability distributions. It is a statistical function which links or lists all the possible outcomes a random variable can take in any random process. So, if it is a discrete random variable, then the probability distribution is called as probability mass function or PMF. So, we know that discrete random variable takes only finite set of values and some examples are number of typo errors, number of diagnostic errors, etc. For continuous random variable, the probability distribution is called as PDF or probability density function. So, here it holds different values from an interval of real numbers. Example is temperature, pressure, height, etc. First, let us see about probability mass function or PMF. It lists possible values of different outcomes and their respective probabilities. Let us consider as an example of rolling a dice. So, if x is a random variable associated with rolling of a six-sided fair dice, then the PMF of x can be given as shown in this table. So, here x can take any value from 1 to 6 and the probability of x equal to x can be represented as 1 by 6. So, here 6 is the total number of outcomes in the dice. And Probability of getting 1 is 1, probability of 2 is getting 1, so it is mentioned as 1 by 6 for each cell. So, graphically it can be represented like this. So, you can see from this graph that it is discrete. So, to be a PMF of a random variable x, a function p satisfies the following conditions. Domain of p is the set of all possible states of x. So, as mentioned here, the domain will be set of all possible states of x. And we, if we sum up uh, this, all these probabilities, then it will be uh, getting the value as 1. So, that is mentioned in this third condition. 
and the value will be between 0 and 1. So, because the maximum value itself 1 only, so it should take only the values between 0 and 1. So, this is the probability mass function. Next, probability density function or PDF. So, it is the probability per unit length or interval. Let us consider as an example, amount of rainfall between 10 and 20 centimeter, which can be expressed as P of 10 less than R less than 20 or P of 10 less than R equal to R less than R equal to 20. So, R is the rainfall, uh, t amount of rainfall ranges between 10 and 20. So, we can represent this in PDF as integral. So, integral of 10 to 20 f of x dx. So, in general, we can represent it as integral of a to b f of x dx. So, here a and b are the intervals. So, graphically, it can be expressed like this. So, this is the interval which is expressed as uh, PDF. The PDF should satisfy the following properties. Domain of P is the set of all possible states of X which is similar to PMF and here the values should be non-negative that is F of X should be greater than or equal to 0 for all X and the area between the density curve and the horizontal X axis will be equal to 1 that is the integral of F of X DX is equal to 1. Finally, let us see about cumulative distribution function. All random variables discrete or continuous will have the cumulative density distribution function which is represented as CDF. Corresponding to any distribution function, there is CDF denoted by f of x which for any value of x star gives the probability of the event as x less than or equal to x star. So, therefore, if f of x is PMF of x, then the CDF can be given as f of x star is equal to summation of f of x. So, so here x is less than or equal to x star and value of x lies between minus infinity to x star. Similarly, for continuous random variable, we can express it as, so it is expressed as integral. So here it is mentioned as uh, uh, summation since it is PMF. For PDF, it is expressed as integral. So integral of minus infinity to x star f of x dx. So, x takes the value between minus infinity to x star. So, thus we have seen about random variables and probability distributions in this lecture. Thank you.